reactions trail photos of road being constructed by Abia Governor Alex Oti. Photos of ongoing road construction exercises in Abia State by the new governor, Dr. Alex Oti, has emerged online and have been generating lots of comments. Alex Oti was among the numerous governors who were sworn in on May 29. He was sworn in as governor of the state after he was declared winner of the governorship election that went down in the state on March 18. However, since the governor assumed office, he has been hitting ground, hitting the ground running. He has seen or been seen making new policies and inventing innovations in the state. Photos of some roads being constructed by the governor in the state have been shared online. Um, and it's been generating massive responses from social media users. Interesting. Someone else says, now road, we go chop. Interesting. Even if that is the only thing he achieves, it will be one of the things off the table. Roads that last 50 years without maintenance. Guy, like, bro, without maintenance. That's the thing. Do you want, like, gold-plated like tar because i don't understand why would you not maintain a road for 50 years mate think like that's so dumb honestly that's such a dumb comment you literally want roads to last for 50 years in where in who like in first of countries they they maintain if it's five years and that's the thing we do we need a system and that shows how small-minded we think because our solutions and our actions are so small-minded, right? If you're thinking of development in the state, no one just makes roads. You, you don't just make a road, right? The road system needs to connect to a, you know, a sewage water system, especially uh, if you want to add an electricity system. So when you're building your roads, you make accommodation for that. It is honestly extensive planning. You don't just build a road, slap it on the ground. No. Because what I'm saying is, look at the size of the market. Should markets be on the road? Even if they are, is there a safe way? for? Because you can't just build your roads for things to just come and, you know, drive on. What are the markings? How should people drive? Because now you, like I say, just start from scratch. It's not just building a road so people can praise you. Okay, build the road. Okay, fine. Build the road to what end? So at the core, that's I'm like, and Nigerians, Nigerians fucked up. You people messed up a big time. Because I personally believe, right? You know, we don't just need one kind of Peter or B. Because let's be honest, I'm not saying the guy is perfect, but he's thinking, being progressive, right? Because if you had people or like multiple characters like Peter or B, in terms of forward, forward type of thinking, like, because this does not make, it doesn't make sense at all. It, it does not make sense at all. Like it, 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 like it just doesn't make sense to just build roads. Cause let's be honest, we're not politicians. More than, more likely than not, yes, people are gonna talk about him. Oh, he's doing this, he's doing that. But it, really, it's for his own personal gain, where he would be referred to as a governor who did this within this time frame. I don't understand. I like I. I on me, I don't understand. I I just don't understand. I just don't. I I I don't understand. Like I I I I don't understand. I don't understand because where Nigeria is, it's not just to do things here and there shabbily. The disorganization, the lack of thinking, thoughtful, procedural thinking all round just does not exist. It just doesn't exist, and it's shame because you know there are people in power who think like that therefore they think like that their actions would reflect that it is honestly such a shame i i don't even know how to it's, it's such a shame it's too it's too big too much too heavy of a shame yeah so i'm like this does not impress me what i want to see is because we have the money and the resources it's just planning at the end of the day you know 
you can have a lot of money, but what do you use it for? The resource is there. You can give several people the same amount of money, but what would they do with it? It all depends on the quality of what is in their minds. And sorry, but where Nigeria is, if you're intentional for the country to grow, you know that roads, they are obviously important, but they, sh- they need to be done with immediate alacrity and sensibility, not as a thing of you are trying to impress Nigerians because it's the barest minimum. We should be able to drive on good roads. It's not, it's not, a, it's not an issue. That's it. It's not an issue. And with systems and things like this, as you go along, like, you can find problems. You can find that, ah, actually, you know, we need to have road markings, right? We need to... So as you go, you develop and you make better what you already built so it lasts longer. That's actually what maintenance is. Because then you can find that, you know what? These roads... Mm, how would the lanes work? Because the pictures I'm seeing, there are markets on the sides. And in the whole of Nigeria, it's pretty much the same thing. So where the roads end, it's not neatly, it's not done with planning. Like, honestly, we, we have so much work to do. This is not impressive at all. We need to do better. Put away the cut of this like and subscribe.